Hey there, Boots Owen here. The Bosch WFF1401. We did the motor bearings in it recently and we replaced one of the bearings on the drum. But it's the motor bearings we're really here to test. While I was in, I did the motor brushes. They were uh, Easy Care Short. They were just a bit worn, but now they're making noise. 30 degrees on. It should take in some water, it needs some soap. A little bit of soap. Good. Street find soap. I've got three IKEA bags and two t-shirts, three uh, and some rags on top of that. So it's just gonna wash them up. Um, the bags got dirty on the street from, not on the street, but just from setting them down in the garden, the, the path was dirty and made the bags dirty and well I'm testing the machine anyways and a cold wash won't kill them. I've got the bowls set up. I'm not expecting any scale or anything. This has been in Manchester I think this machine in a friend's house for the last two or three years working away so it's fine. You can hear those that kind of whining is the um, brushes on the commutator. It's the spin I'm interested in. It should have a 1200 spin for this. It sounds loud, but it's okay. I'll come back later. There won't be much to this video, I don't think. You might be interested in it nonetheless. Stay tuned. This is the dirt from the laundry rather than the machine. Not worried about that. I think it's sounding better all the time. I am raising my voice to talk, but it is a 20, I think it's 1999, 24 year old washing machine. It's doing all right. Quite a funny scenario, I walked into the garage and there was just this drill on top. I put the screwdriver down, but prior to that there was this box and another drill. So the machine has obviously moved by who, half a meter. And it's positive from my point of view that the washing powder, it's positive that the washing powder landed right way up, which is good relief really. And that the hose is still attached, drain out hose. Although we've got water dripping from here from somewhere, which is a bit peculiar. A bit peculiar. Okay, well, I'll sort that out. Good thing I've spotted it. So it just did a big start there. It's, it's only got a few t-shirts in it and a few bags, so it's hard to know why it's so unbalanced, but I guess it is. Nice and clear, relatively. This might be the final spin, or there might be one more. put a bucket down. I think it's dripping from this end of the hose where it goes in and I suspect that's just the rubber seal is a bit, a bit wonky or something. So it's not jumping. It's taking on more water for a final rinse. Okay, so we'll come back. Hopefully I'll catch it jumping again. So this is the final rinse and there is a lot of water in there. It's, it's almost halfway up the door. This is an Easy Care 30 and that's a lot of water. You've got to be up on 20 or 30 litres there. It suits me fine, it's cold water, but and I don't pay for water, but for the environment, it can't be good. There you go. So it's doing its final drain final drain and it should jump if it's going to jump again so let's try and 
Stand well clear and see what happens. It's a lot of water coming out of it. The machine is wobbling. The brushes are still a little bit loud. Not crazy. Oh, it's steady enough. There we go. Rags and bags. Thought I had three bags in there, but well, I don't obviously. We really don't. Okay. Still making noise. Will be due another wash in due course. Questions or comments, leave them below. If you haven't subscribed and liked, please give it a go. Thanks for watching. See you later.